Well, the dead hedge is still standing. Doesn't look like it's been kicked down by any use. I'm quite happy to say that I reckon no fucker ever comes over here. Let's have a little look in the wood and see if we can uh, see any rabbits. of a uh, coppiced hazel that we will be making stuff out of. This is the muddy patch. Need to lay some sticks across here. This is where <laughs> we had our small campfire. Lots of these premier lizards. more roots that we need to cut down. All of this needs to tidy up. Here the bangers going off in the distance. more coppiced. I thought we were different birds. And this is the area that we're going to use as a camping area. A more coppiced hazel there. A little more down there. I didn't get any clearing. We're basically going to go to this tree. Most probably that tree there. That tree there. This dead tree, which is Lewis's favourite. <laughs> God knows why. We've got a holly bush there. We leave that in, that would be a Christmas tree every year, Christmas time. Okay, now that tree through there with the blue tape on it, and another tree there with blue tape on, and then there's a tree there with blue tape on. I'm going to try and go that way. No doubt we'll bring that one in as well. Got a crow's nest or a squirrel's nest up there. Say it looked more like a squirrel. So it's going to be quite a big area that we end up with. <coughs> we'll find somewhere central to put a campfire, and then I think that if any of the biking fraternity want to come down and do some camping weekends where they help out leaving a few more paths that would be a big enough area to put a few tents and stuff up in beautiful morning, 7 o'clock just listen to all them birds
go back to the car and start unloading.